we're going to talk about Grant's doggy diaper. <laughs> I had a lot of questions about Grant and his doggy diaper. As you can see, he's wearing one now. He has no problem with it. Um, he gets around just fine. He doesn't try to take it off. Uh, Grant has to wear a doggy diaper because um, we believe he has canine cognitive dysfunction, which can cause confusion, um, some other things as well, and can also cause more accidents in the house. So one way to help with the um, peeing in the house was to get him these uh, male dog wraps. His diapy, as I call it. <laughs> as you see, he walks just fine. He has no problem with it being on. Um, it doesn't come off when he's sleeping. And he moves around a lot uh, at night, which is another uh, symptom of the cog canine cognitive dysfunction. Um, so it doesn't come off. He doesn't try to take it off. I know some of you have told me that your dogs, when you try them, they tried to rip them off um so yeah so let me show you the um doggy diapers that i found fit him the best and that i like and answer a couple more questions okay so here are the uh, male dog wraps that i have been purchasing off amazon they're called looks like pit pet pit pet <laughs> Um, I've been buying these on Amazon. I think they were around $17 a bag. They come in a 30 pack. They are size small. Um, it doesn't show, no, it doesn't show the measurements for all their different sizes, but a small, this fits a small male dog with a waist of 11 to 17 inches. Now this says eight to 15 pounds. He's over 15 pounds, but when I measured his waist, he was 15 and a half inches. So if you're gonna order uh, diapers for your male or female dog on Amazon, they all have a measurement chart and where you should measure the dog so you get the best fit. And this is the best fit, I love these. This is the best fit for Grant. I did try another brand that was on Amazon. It was a little bit too big. It was the same measurement sizes, but it was a little bit bigger. Same with the top paw that you can find at PetSmart. I picked these up and um, they're the same measurement size as this, but these ones were a lot bigger and, and almost looser on him. So, I'm still gonna keep them um, just in case of emergency or maybe I'll know someone else I can give them to, but these are just a little bit too big on Grant as well. Um, I can't remember what the other ones were I tried. They were, they were a uh, brand on Amazon. There's tons of brands on Amazon. So read the reviews. Um, I spent forever reading reviews after the first one I bought didn't fit too well. And then I finally chose this brand here and I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out and uh, read some of the re reviews. So, and like I said, these do not come off him. Um, let me show you this one. Oh no, I got some right here. Uh, I got some here in a basket that I keep on his crate. They have like a, mostly, it's not sticky. It's almost like a Velcro-y type material on this side and it sticks to the diaper there and then you just kind of unvelcro it when he's got to go outside and go potty um so you can reuse these all day if they don't go potty in them i've used one for two days when he hasn't went potty now yesterday he went potty twice in his diaper um it just depends on the day it depends on um what i'm doing around the house yesterday i was really busy cleaning the house so he would get up out of his bed and be walking around. I wouldn't notice him because I'd be in the bathroom cleaning or doing something and not noticing him. And he's an older dog. He's 15 years old and he has his doggy dementia. And sometimes he just walks through the living room to the kitchen and he's just got to go. 
So if I don't see him right away, he goes in his diaper. And that happened twice yesterday, which was perfect because, and he had his diaper on, so there was no accident on the floor. So I'm very thankful for these. <laughs> so yeah, but like sometimes I used one for two days and they just reconnect. So let me put this back. I keep them in a basket on his crate. I also purchased these um, reusable washable doggy diapers. Uh, they're by, they're, it's T-E-A, like T-M-O-Y. I'll tape it on the screen too. So T-Moy uh, washable diapers. They fit them great. I was just kind of leery, and this one really has a good Velcro on it. Um, they have like a liner in it. I have not used this by itself um, with him and tested how absorbent they are. But in the reviews, everybody said they worked great. But I noticed a lot of people that use the disposable doggy diapers will also use these over them for at, at nighttime or if they're going to be out of the house for say four or five hours, like Mr. Grant, the one time I was gone, just a little less than three hours and he had to go and he went in his diapy. It didn't leak or anything, but I figured I'd like to have, I put these on him over this at night for extra absorbency, extra protection. And I also put it over the disposable ones when I have to leave the house for appointments and errands. So I have three of these and I think I think it was $12.99 for the three pack. I'll link these as well. But yeah, I keep them here in this basket on top of his crate. Um, so I can grab one real quick in case I need to put one on him. And he does wear it um, all day unless he's outside. Um, that way there are no, sometimes I've thought, oh, he just went pee. I'll leave it off him. And then I get busy. It's an hour later. He's got to go again. And then there's an accident on the floor. So Mr. Grant wears one pretty much all day unless he's outside. If he does go pee in his diaper, I have, let me grab him. I have some pet wipes. And Mr. Grant, I'm checking him all the time. He goes out probably every couple hours unless he's sleeping for a while. Um, so he's not going potty in one of these and being left in it for 8, 10, 12 hours. Um, it's getting checked regularly. And even when I sleep, I usually only sleep six hours. And most of the time, Mr. Grant doesn't go in the diaper at night when he's sleeping. So he usually makes it through the night. But if he does go in them, um, I use this, because somebody asked if I had to give him a bath every time he went in his doggy diaper. No, because this does not, um, work for the poops. <laughs> this does not cover up the poop hole. I don't even know if the female one does. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below, but I don't even know if the female diaper um, covers up the poop hole and they go poop in them. I don't think they do. I think it's just for pee. Um, so if he does go, um, and another um, tip is I only take the diaper off when he's outside. Because a couple times I've taken it off inside before I was going to let him out. And he was going as I was taking it off and I didn't know and pee went all over the floor. So I only take the diaper off of him when I take him outside to go potty. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll use one of these pet wipes. Kind of like a baby wipe when your child goes potty in their diaper. And I clean them up real good and I let them air dry real good um, if he does go pee in his diaper so so yeah that's what I use for Mr. Grant um and they've been a lifesaver so I just want to let anyone who know who has a dog who may be having accidents in the house peeing in the house or they're trying they're marking in the house um girl dogs will mark in the house too um or if your dog has incontinence get some diapers for your dog um, yes, they can be pricey. Um, like I said, Mr. Grant sometimes will go a couple days without even going in one. So it's not like I'm using multiple ones a day. Some dogs may have to, um, and it can be pricey, but let me tell you, it saves up the cleaning. Let me show you what I use to clean up urine.
um, if there is an accident in the house. Just a second. So this is what I use to clean up any um, pee accidents. It's by Nature's Miracle and it works great. You want to sop up as much of the urine as you can with a towel, paper towels, whatever you can. Get it sopped up. I pour it on. I put a glove on my hand and then I scrub it right into the carpet. On wood floors and on laminate floors, you don't have to work as hard. But if he accidentally goes on the carpet or any of the dogs, I rub it in real good into the carpet and I let it sit. And then I sop that up with a towel, another clean towel. And then I use this also in my steam cleaner. And then I steam clean over the spot. And I've never had it smell like pee after using this product and the dogs do not um they don't even you know how sometimes when there's a pee spot they'll still sniff it if they can still smell it and they'll re-pee on it never has happened with using this product and then I also use this product um I get both of these at Meyer. um I also use I'll try to link these too this is by Bissell it's an oxy stain and stink instant stain remover this works really good too for stinky poops, stinky pukes, because uh, I have kitties that have hairballs, they puke. Um, stuff just happens when you have pets. We all know this. So, um, yeah, so that's what I use to clean up the messes. Um, I did want to mention too that with the doggy diapers, you have to make sure, because when I first started using these, I wasn't making sure I was getting his pee pee in the diaper um, as well as I could have. Because as we know, Mr. Grant is grumpy. Um, so I was just like getting him on real fast. And I've learned since making this mistake of not getting it on right because I sat and watched him. He had to pee. I was in the recliner trying to get up because I was like, oh my goodness, he's got to pee. Tried to get up fast. I could tell he was going and... His pee pee was not in the diaper good and peed on the floor. <laughs> so you have to make sure. So now I take my time, look under the belly, make sure I'm getting his pee pee inside the diaper. <laughs> so there's no accident. So you have to make sure you're getting these on correctly as well. Um, what else? I was looking at my list. I have a list of things I want to make sure I touched on. And uh, I think I touched on everything. So if you guys have any other questions maybe I didn't answer that you were wondering, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm going to let the dogs and I let them outside because they've been barking like mad at squirrels out in the front yard. So I didn't want them disrupting the video. So I need to let them in. It's a little chilly today. But I did want to mention to Isabella that I got your um, Easter card. Oh, it's been a little while now, but I haven't had a video. Last week was kind of a rough week last week. Um, I was having some vertigo problems due to sinus issues uh, from the weather changing here in Michigan. So I did get your card. She's in Poland. So thank you, Isabella and Paul. I also got the Frisbee that you sent. Uh, he forgot to include it in the box he had sent a while ago. Um, if you remember the little blue disc that's outside that I've had outside for the boys to play with, he had sent that and some other things for the boys. And he forgot to put this Frisbee in there. And I got that too. Wanted to let you know, Paul. Thank you. And yes, I do like, he asked me in his little note, do I like the Bark toys? Yes. They're made really good and they've last, the ones you've sent and the ones I've bought, bought in the past, they last pretty good. Uh, my dogs don't usually tear up toys too bad. The only times they usually get holes in their toys is because they're playing tug of war with them. Um, but those toys do hold out pretty good. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Like I said, if you have any other questions, um, put them in the comments and I'll try to address them in our next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.